What's going on guys? My name is Noah. This is going to be a video regarding testosterone replacement therapy. I haven't done a video on my TRT in a while, it's mostly because nothing's really changed, but I figure I could go ahead and show you guys how I give myself my basic weekly injection of testosterone stipinate. So I take 120 milligrams per week. I do it once a week and I do the outer quadrant of my thigh. So uh, it's nothing fancy. I'm not a doctor. This isn't a how-to, simply showing you guys how I and uh, it's pretty quick and easy. So let's go ahead and just get into it. If you'd like to know why I'm on TRT, you can read the description below. I've also made a lot of videos on the topic. You can check that out. If you're wondering if you might have low T, just get some blood work, total and free. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this video going. The basic supplies, we've got the testosterone itself, little band-aid. This is the needle I use to draw. It's a 23 gauge needle, kind of slow. I wish I had something bigger actually. Uh, a little cotton swab alcohol wipe, the actual um, syringe itself, and then I actually like to inject with this little little guy, it's a 30 gauge, it's slow, but the reason I like it so much is because it's absolutely painless. So I just take the alcohol pad, wipe down the top of the bottle, sterilize it, grab my syringe, Open this baby up. Now ideally I would want a, a, a uh, smaller gauge needle to draw. Like an 18 gauge would be sweet because it would go fast. This is just what I have right now. So I used to think you had to uh, push air into the bottle here to get it to come out, but it's not true. You really don't. So this entire syringe fits um, one ml and I take 0.6 mls a week. So right now it's just a matter of waiting. So the reason this is going so slow, like I said, is that this, the gauge of needle that I'm using to fill the syringe is just simply too large. So the larger the gauge, the smaller the hole in the needle, so to speak. But uh, we'll just wait it out. It's not that serious. Well, like you can see, we're coming up between 0.9 and 0.3. I use that so that I can obviously leave some room for air. I'll go a little bit over. Uh, what I actually need because you inevitably end up losing some every single time. So go ahead and pull that out. So I draw this back, I secure that needle, I get my other needle ready, I pull this one off, I put this one on, and I just secure it. I just make sure it's, it's uh, tight. I might even use the table like this. We're right around 0.6 and it, uh, it is time to go ahead and inject. So all that's left to do, guys, is the actual injecting part. I just take an alcohol swipe, I wipe the outer quadrant. Is that recording? Mm -hmm. Cool. Wipe the outer quadrant, and then I have this little cotton swab, well, cotton cloth, whatever. And now, the injection itself, this used to scare me, um, which is fair, but it got a lot easier the more I did it. The only real thing you have to worry about, is you just have to keep your leg totally relaxed, and then when you push it in, the most important thing you can do is just aspirate. So you just have to pull back. You see that? See there's an air bubble? It just goes away. You just want to make sure that no blood is in your syringe. It's very unlikely that you would hit a blood vessel, but if you did, that shit would suck because it would eventually get stuck in the capillaries of your lungs. So this part takes a while with a needle that's this small, but I really like it because like I said, a 30 gauge needle, you just don't feel. And that's really, really convenient. So you have to give it a fair bit of force, but you don't really feel anything at all, especially if you hit the right part of your outer quadrant. I go ahead and give it about 10 seconds just to kick it, chill, and disperse within the muscle because this is intramuscular. And then you pull out the needle, and then I've got my Band-Aid ready to go. Put it on, boom. All right guys, so that is how I do a testosterone injection. I do that every week, 120 mLs. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, but TRT has been a positive thing for my life because I was someone who couldn't produce it on my own. So I hope you took this video for what it was. I appreciate your time. If you want more TRT videos, let me know in the comments below. Shout out to my wife for helping me film, and we'll see you guys next week. Painless, no big deal. You get better at staying calm and giving these injections the more you do them. And that way you don't have to have someone else do it or go in to see your doctor, stuff like that. Deuces.